Exactly, Mo. Uh, process is very important um, because process will lead you to um, a verifiable performance rating. Uh, I think uh, Dr. Chima is very generous with his numbers and his uh, assessment, and I, and I tend to agree with him in, in many aspects. But I like to give overall performance uh, rating in terms of percentage. I would say 46%. Uh, generally. Um, yes, there are some element of this election that is a, that is a far, uh, a, a good improvement uh, from 2023. But it's unfortunate that um, I will personally describe this election, uh, off-cycle election, as one of the worst, um, taking into co cognizance the level of preparation and the assurance I, I thought that um, INEC in general uh, would take this election uh, and perform creditably well so that they can begin to redeem the confidence and trust deficit that they have suffered in the previous election. Um, you will notice that we released a joint statement, a joint statement by Yaga, by um, uh, Women Trust Fund, KDI. you know, Africa, yes, and and that that statement is explicit uh, picture of what transpired and what is still playing out. Um, I, I think we're beginning to see more where a, a playbook, uh, a future playbook of what what to come. Um, if we don't take time and correct some of these uh, issues, uh, you will see the same thing playing out in Ondo or or even in 2027. Uh, I think this is something that uh, is very worrisome and uh, take it into co cognizance. The amount of money and resources that we put into this election, it's unfortunate that the political class have decided to rubbish the democratic values and dividends that we are all working hard towards. Let me, uh, let me, let me take...